Okay, welcome back everyone to the Caves of Quid. Um, we died last time with our boy, uh, not Jeb. And now we have our boy, True Jeb, who has four arms, regenerates, and eye lasers. With the plan being, we're gonna give him four axes and four bucklers and just chop, chop, chop. That's the plan. It's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, probably not. Alright. Hi, Jesse. We are here on the 16th of Uru Ooks. You arrive at the Oasis Hamlet of Joppa, along the far rim of Mograi, the Great Salt Desert. All around you, bushy farmers, center groves of Verdeen Watervine. Their huts rot from rocks out in bright uh, stock. On the horizon, quads jungle with shingle, chrome steeples, and rusted arcways. To the east, earth, further and beyond, the hill spindle rises above the fray and pierces the cloud ribbon sky. Right, so we got two boys to talk to. We got Dispor. And he's like, hey, I want job. And he's like, go kill the white, not spiders. And Doug, this guy. And he's like, go. Actually, no, he's not. Never mind. How's your day, Nick? It's been fun. Hi, AJ. So, for like the Twitch like message things for don like donations, is there a limit to how long they can be? Uh, I don't, I don't think so. Okay, because I think it'd be hilarious to have a. Uh, from Warframe, the entire, uh, the entirety of Vor's speech. God damn it. Do, do you know what I'm talking about? I think so. Hey, you! You! Is it someone where you, he invades in the void and he's like, Look at them. They come to this place when they know they are not pure. Pure. Alright. Do I die to baboons? Do you tell or use the keys? This <laughs> entire fucking thing is ridiculous. Ah, yes, the baboons. Look, Nick, a baboon. But he is not prepared for eye laser! Baboon! Ow. My health? Baboon! Players have baboons are like an apex predator now, apparently. Wait, what? Ba baboons being like an apex predator. Baboons are scary, Nick. Yeah, fair. And I, I mean, if in even in real life, you know, I, I baboon would absolutely wreck your shit. So yeah, baboons are scary. I mean, the the only option you have against baboons is if you had laser eyes, and you'd be like, ha ha. Or you, or a gun. I mean, or a gun. Are you bloody or are you a hero? You're bloody. You're a bloody baboon. From atop his sunning boulder, the small monkey peers at you with eyes full of curiosity. Two puffs of gray fur fell from either side of his face. As he chucks a rock at my face. Laser eye! I appreciate the water skin. This is mine now. Get fucked. Alright. Ow. Laser eye. Laser eye. Laser eyes are very useful. I'm about to die, though. I must run away. Okay. I have healed enough to laser laser eye this baboon when I see him. Baboon! Where are you? Ba baboon? Ah, baboon! Laser eye. <laughs> I'm kind of sad you can't level up, um, Blaze. I want to see, like, what it what scales off of. Like, is it just Ego? And that's why it's doing 4 damage instead of 10 now? Or is it just true RNG? Like, hey, it could be good, could be bad, who knows, man. Maybe you. We upgrade to arms. 
Oh, nice. 30% increase to attacks. Yes. And then we go into the skill points. Oh. And then we... I don't think we buy anything. I think we want to save it for dual wielding. Oh. You need quad wielding. Well, dual wielding is quad wielding. Uh, apparently. Apparently. So dual wielding just gets better and better the more arms you have, then. Yeah. Uh, b basically, like, the end goal of, like, my build is I'll have four axes and every turn I'm gonna take off four limbs. And I may get lucky and just decapitate in their head and they just instantly die no matter whatever they are. That's the end goal. Would be very, very powerful. Oh, the baboon's done fighting me. The music of this game is so fucking weird. Uh, a boar. Hostile. Hey, boar. Eye laser. Eye laser. Ow. Can you oh, eye laser every turn, then? Uh, I store charges. Okay. So, so typically for most combat, you'll just be at eye laser him to death because you get charges and enough charges or whatever. Yeah, I get four charges, which right and against these things, it's not enough damage because they have a lot of health. Get fucked. So I cut off its like R, its like hind leg, and it bled to death. Then I ran away when whoop 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 whoop. So like for most, so, so when you get to your end build, you'll just be able to chop off a bunch, chop off four limbs and run away for a bit and just wait for it to die. That will be an option, yes. Hi, Crafty. Oh, Crafty, thanks for the five five months of tier one, man. It, it means a lot to me. I'm really glad you enjoy my combat despite my very. I don't penetrate with my axe. This is my very sometimes sporadic stream schedule. Eye laser! Eye laser! Eye laser! It's just the glasses. Message. Oh, it's daytime now! Look at that! A lot of shit's done! Laser. Obey. Twitch was like, Obey. here, have a. Obey. We should just Obey. do this. So it's like, I obey. <laughs> hey, could, could you fucking die? Thank you. Now, could you lose a limb? No. Because the issue right now is, I'm about to, the issue right now is, I'm about to die. Whoop, 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 whoop. Eye laser! It's weird, it's like, the game doesn't have super big numbers, so it's weird seeing like, oh, a minus 10, and that's like, your entire the entirety of your health bar. It gets the super big. Like, late game, you'll have health in the thousands. Oh, damn. And then, so die, because, um, th th there's a, there's a, an enemy... That's a basic enemy. Ah! So uh, is it certain areas that are tougher, or is the game, or does the world map constantly get harder? Baboon! I believe I am the dead. Um, the world, oh my. That's a lot of baboons. The world map constantly gets harder. Okay. Like, say, there's an area... Ah! Rock! Called the the Deadlands. Ah! Baboon! Dead. There's an area called the Deadlands that has a natural enemy. Like, a, like a, just a thing that's always there. 
called um, Iron Pyramid. And um, the Iron Pyramids, all of them, have... First off, they're, they're pyramids, so they're really tough. And they have a lot of health and armor. Second, they have a always-on force field that you can only turn off of EMP grenades. So you need to have those to even hurt them. Third! Um, they have fucking... Each of them has an 18-barrel rocket launcher that they fully reload every turn. What the fuck? How do you even fight that? You EMP it, you run up to them, and you hopefully chop off the rocket launcher. Because then, with a little bit more preparation, you now have an 18, uh, 18 barrel rocket launcher you can use. Oh, well. Now, that is, that is not to say that is an easy task by any means. Oh, hey. Hi, laser. <laughs> Dead. Are there bosses? Uh, there are legendary heroes. Like, each of the factions that have, like, lore. That's all randomized. Ah. Uh, oh my god, so, I'm... So you can run into a legendary iron pyramid kind of thing? Yeah. And it'd be, it'd be a legendary thing of the uh, robot faction. Ah. Huh. And then I... If I... Hello? Aha! There is the asshole! I laser... Oh, a masterwork bronze short sword. A leather cap! On my head. I might just sell this because it's masterwork. Uh, I shall sell this. I should really take that bow and use use a ranged weapon. But I I am Jeb. I am not a weakling. Can you dual wield bows since you have four arms? Yes. Nice. Ooh, an engraved bronze long sword. Right. This is all shit to sell. Where to eat? Oh man, remember when you spawned in and you were a merchant and immediately broke both your legs and <laughs> fell over? Yeah, that was funny. Alright. Hello, Mr. Snapjaw! I laser! I laser. I almost had. But I laser. And, you know, I was thinking that, like. Wait, oh, you can't hold. Like, people that are like good at like programming games and like making games but are really sh shit at art are lucky that like the whole minimalistic graphics thing is kind of in right now oh i see i i have made a like, mistake that i will learn from when i next die start your next character yes yeah. i'm gonna make willpower by actually i'll make intelligence have 15 and ego be like 16 or 17 oh the intelligence like more important than you thought ego is more important than i thought for what i'm doing oh okay uh because just having a high ego will raise the um the level of your uh, mental abilities okay eye laser which means it'll make my eye lasers do Ow! Fuck you, plant! Yeah. Fucking angry ass evil willow plant just stabbed me in the foot for half of my health. I'll do more damage, and if I understand it correctly, I'll recharge my light source more often. Or eye lasers. Who just died there? What, what, what killed that sna scavenger? Is four arms max arms you can get? Um, I think so. Disappointed. I can get four legs too. 
So you can so you can kind of be Spider Boy. I can get spinnerets. Oh. Snap jaw war. So here's what's gonna happen, Snap Jaw. I'm gonna walk away, and I'm gonna la eye laser the shit out of you. Are there um fantasy creatures like dragons and stuff? Uh, I think so. Well, we can look at the factions. And be Avenos, apes, arachnids, baboons, batalists. I don't know what that is. Barathumites, I don't know what that is. Uh, a dupe, uh, cannibals, cats, children. Crabs! Cragmitch. Oh, crabs is its own faction. Everything's its own faction. We got the equines and the horses. Uh, we got flowers, and frogs, and fungi, and gish, and glow whites, and goat folk. Grazing hedonists. So can you like raise like with the the Gersh who looks to just be a, they hate everyone faction? Can you raise your reputation with them still, or is, are they kind of locked into murder? Uh, you can raise your faction with everyone in the game. It's just how hard will it be? Okay. So like, is that the, is that the true end game? Getting max reputation with no. everyone through shenanigans. So like, say I, I could I could find an item called a Schrodinger's notebook. And I can use that to raise my, uh, relationship with a faction. Okay. Alright, he does a lot of damage. So, in theory, if you were, like, you know, neutral or better, I guess, I should say, to each faction, would nothing attack you? I, I have to be good, because there's still hostile things that just attack. Okay. Hostile things in the faction that attack anything that isn't a friend. Okay, but if you're friends with everyone, then, like, you basically couldn't die anymore unless you, like, step in lava. Yes. Alright. Although, I'm A gonna second guess that, axe! That, I'm gonna guess that that is for all intents and purposes impossible. Without doing an extreme amount of cheese, yeah. Alright, and even just the fact that, like, you know, by the time you can do that, you know, if you don't get bored, RNG will probably just kill you at some point. Yeah. Are you friendly, Beetle Bomb? Oh, Beetle Bomb's friendly! Beetle Bomb's dying to a speech, a seat shooter plant. Beetle Bomb! Laser! Laser! I like to imagine that, because, like, you know, I, I have very, I mean, r relatively speaking, very high strength, so I'm just, like, this meat guy walking around like, I laser! Because I'm fucking awful in close combat. Long time no see, death. What is up, my dude? I laser! Need more axes. I don't, I don't have enough axes yet, Nick. Ah, speaking of axe! Now, what, what, who is Quud in the game? Is that like the god of the world? I, I don't know. No one's given me a good answer yet. All right. Ow! Fine. Fuck you. I laser. I laser. I laser. And my charges. Oh, he is not happy. Dismember! Ha ha! I chop its left hind foot! Ha ha! Woo 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 get fucked, bitch! Oh, this. You see, I, I am not a strong man. Not yet. But soon. So we, we take advantage of what we must. We get regeneration. Actually, we get. Never mind. We get regeneration. And then we. Uh, do I get cleave? I either get cleave or I save up for do building. Do building is only 300 SP. And it's really good. Uh, 
other armor compared to my furs. This other armor is brighter. You put on my body. Yeah, Tekken's take, take a fun game. Uh, I'm just waiting. I'm basically waiting for Chungus to do like a lobby or something. Cause I am not doing ranked. I care not for that. I think I'm also kind of excited for when Soul Calibur goes on sale and I buy it, then we could play that. Yeah. I just don't think it'll be net worth. You don't think what? I don't think it'll be worth like 90 bucks to me necessarily, so that's why I'm just waiting. Yeah, I mean, probably not. Well, I'm glad you're playing Kenshi. Yeah! Kenshi! Eye laser! Eye laser! Eye laser! Oh, he has crocosins, Nick! And I cut off his face. Hey, baby. Thanks for the crocosins, bitch. Thanks for the face! <laughs> I'm wearing his face. I I remember your name. I remember your name. I don't remember what game you first came into. I do remember your name though. Ah! Laser. 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 Something tells me the leather moccasins are worse than my crocosins. I don't know where I was going with that. So I'm gonna stop, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Alizer. How dare you! Alizer! It's so nice having, like, a, a guaranteed hit range attack Nick Gun has charges. It's so nice. At least, I think it's guaranteed. I haven't missed yet, so... I says it, it's, it's guaranteed. I haven't missed yet, so I'm gonna take that as a yes. I gotta put on my, my foreskin lucratives. Equip on my upper hands. <laughs> no, my, my lower hands. I need more gloves. I laser. I laser. Ooh, a canteen! Mine. Mine, mine. Ooh, a grenade. And something else! <laughs> let's, uh, let's examine this grenade in the only way a brain that like us can. Just kind of bash it against the wall, but it doesn't explode. Examine! It's an acid gas grenade. Alright, what about you? It's a electro bow. Uh huh. Uh huh. Alright. Oh no. Oh, this is. Oh, this is really good, Nick. Oh, another axe. My axe collection, Nick! Is this the second axe? No, this is my fourth axe. Nice. So you can wield them all now? Yes. Go forth and conquer. I asked the plan. I am me. Crazy axe wielding maniac man. And a buckler! For my right arm! I know, funny, I have, I have all these fucking, uh, axes, but I, I, I don't use them, I just fucking eye laser everything. I will, however, pick up this new leather cap because my old leather cap is cracked. Equip on my head.
Oh, right, so that is all of this. And now we continue downwards into the dungeon. Farther into this random cave we found. Hello, beetle boat. Oh no, the centipedes. But guess what? I laser. I laser. I laser. I laser. Thank you, I laser. Uh, we have an attribute point that we can use to upgrade ego to 16. Which will help out our stats pretty nicer because now our light manipulation can be upgraded to level two, which gives us higher damage, um, and gives us more charges of eye laser, which nice. is pretty good. So you weaken them down before they get to you, and then you laser them in the face. I think it gives more charges. It, it increases like the max the max radius and the radius so far is my charges, so I think it raises the charges. Yeah, five charges. Cool, cool, cool. So more damage and more charges. More eye lasers, Nick. It's glorious. Hello? Salty slime Salty slimy giant amoeba corpse. <laughs> Ow! The slug snout? Hello? I'm curious as to what kind of slug gave you that. Uh, no, it's a slug snout. It, 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 it shoots Oh, it's a guns. boar. I thought you were talking about an item. No, it's a boar that shoots slugs at me. Uh-huh. Like some sort of enemy from Pikmin. Well, that is um, less than ideal because that's already been half of my health. I have 4 HP left. And I'm dead. Oh. I... I almost killed it. I, I hit it for oh, 21 damage. Or, I think just 24 damage. Well, primarily because I, 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 I don't know. I haven't fought the thing before. <laughs> so it's for all you know, could have had 100 health and just you weren't even close. The main thing that fucked me there was the fact that um, I didn't know what, like, you know, I, I took one turn of moving and I took 10 damage out of my 23 health. And I didn't know what had done with that damage. And by then it was too late to run away. Yeah. Because it's a ranged attack, yeah. Willpower being at 14 is fine. I need I need agility and strength for like everything I care about. A mental mutation. Uh light manipulation. Physical mutation. Multi-arm. And regeneration. Even though regeneration, like, honestly hasn't done much to help me out, but, I mean, it's it's just more of a investment for the future. Alright, so this... This is now the truer gem. God damn. Son of Jeb. Jeb, son of Jeb. Son of also Jeb. Got a ship. Go back to... I'm lost! How the fuck did I get lost in a river? Alright, well, we're going this way. Is that a crocodile? That's a crocodile. That seems dangerous. That's it's not it. It is nothing to the power of eye laser. Get fucked. I made it to Red Rock. Hey baboon! Get fucked! 
Get fucked, I say. Uh, there's a lot of baboons. There's a l blue baboon, a shrewd baboon. Have you encountered those before? I have seen them. I've bought them. That's what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna sprint right there. And then we're gonna charge. The plan is we run away and hope we survive. We do not. We run. We die. <laughs> baboon. That was quick. Okay. Like uh, when, I, when I saw when I saw like the the thing for this game, it's like, odds are you're gonna go to Red Rock and you're gonna die to baboons. Because if you just like say, it, it, there there are five baboons there and there isn't really like a whole lot I can do for that. At least not with how I am. Hopefully not get a lot of baboons. I find it really entertaining to me that I've yet to like fucking make it past this first area in like the the four or five hours I've played so far. Oh yeah. Other well, it's, it's and it, it's not even a rogue light, so it's not like you're getting stronger to maybe get past it next time. You just, you just lose everything. Okay. Well, short prayer, which I have to and I am a faith. I don't know who that is. Yeah, the, the thing is, like, I, I, I enjoy this game. I just, I wish I knew what I could be doing better in this early game. Yeah. I chop off at something or another. And it dies. You know, outside of getting lucky, I don't really know, like, what I can do better. I think for the most part, like, I realize when I'm kind of outmatched and I run away because of that, but... That's not always enough. And, you know, th th this is, like, the starting area. I'm not... If I can't survive here, I, I sure as fuck can't survive in the harder areas. Uh, so how was your day, Midnick? What's the day at home? Yeah, I got all the stuff for dinner today, yesterday, so that way I wouldn't have to go anywhere. Oh. A vine wafer. A chili and cornbread. A steel battle axe. In my... In my primary hand. Well, that is better than my current one. A small rosy tube. Is that a... Gun? What is a small... I'm gonna, I'm gonna equip the other axe, I don't need it though. Uh, equip in my left hand. On salmon. The love injector. Oh! Ah, yes! This thing. Um, so. If I stab something with this, they become a companion. Sexy. Apparently. So, what you can do is... Now, granted, I I will probably not be able to just... Because I'm not, you know, I'm not going to make it far enough. I, I can almost guarantee I'm going to die if I'm using that. Um, what you can do with that is you can, like, go to a faction who isn't, like, immediately hostile to you. Yeah. And, and find, like, one of their legendary lords and inject them with that, and then have a legendary lord companion who will basically slaughter everything for you. Have you not done that yet? I've never found one of these before. Ah. Is that your mission now, then? Yes. Ooh, a, border a Borderlands revolver, a desert rifle, and a musket. Doesn't mind now. I'm a 
I'll sell these. But like I said, odds are I'm gonna die before I get there, just because. I have yet to survive this first area. Level up, did I? Yeah. I believe it is manipulation. I may not advance it yet. Yeah, so leveling up always increases the damage and the pen. And then it will sometimes raise the charges. Fucking <sighs> Kuzu. Aye, Kuzu. What, what, what is it? A clan? Nope, that's not a kuju. That's the shame. I need the kuju. Game. I need. I want to look at the kuju. I don't know what the kuju is. I'm pretty sure it's like a fungus or something, and it can infect other. Uh, it can infect like factions and shit. Because I've seen like kuju infested things. gonna put it up. Never mind. It, it takes up a shoot slot. Oh. Wait for skin. Up a meal. Eat some food. Good job. Food. Uh, I'll load up! An attribute point, which will go into agility. Because agility will increase our odds to hit, and that's pretty good. Wait, there? No. There's the down. Father down! Oh, hello, spoiler. Cave spider and a kuju symbi symbiote. Eye laser. Eye laser. Eye laser. And it's set. Axe. And it's set. Uh oh. Bear. A weird artifact, you say? Now, we're in a predicament. I think the best option, how much health does the bear have? Bear, you're at fine. That's not good. Wait, hold on. Only the familiar nursery rhyme courses through your brain. The grizzly of bear is huge and wild. It is the power of the infant child. The infant child's underwear has been eaten by the bear. What the fuck, are we in Germany or some shit? Are we in Germany or some shit? I mean, one of the reviews said there's fucking mutant Nazis, so maybe. Mutant Nazis. Hiya! Uh. Mm. Bear. Hold on, hold on. Do I do I have any bullets? I have arrows, but no bullets. Less than I do. Hey, bear. First off, dismember. I missed. Second. Run away! Oh. Alright, third! Well, I have a grenade here. Fourth! Do I love Injector the Bear? Probably not. We 
weighted leather moccasins. Okay, I mean, it's better than my, my not moccasins. Alright, we're equipping this into our throne weapon. And how do I throw weapons? Uh, key mapping. Uh, throw T. Alright, I'm gonna come down here. And I'm gonna be like, hey, bear! Get fucked! And he's gonna be like, that did nothing. And I'm gonna be like, oh no. I'm gonna laser. I'm gonna... Are you gonna keep the laser eyes basically forever? <laughs> it's pretty good. Fair enough. It's so hurt! So basically it's, do I run and we both heal, or do I try to laser eye it and hope that's enough to kill it? You run a little bit out of its range, and, and then you and then you laser it. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Laser! Shit. That's your... Back to badly wounded. Laser! Yes! It's dead! We killed the bear! Alright, hopefully there's only one bear down here. I'll be, won't be, I'll be more. Laser. Oh, laser. Alright, like. You're like, oh, are you gonna only use the eye lasers? I mean, have you seen the eye lasers, Nick? They're, they're the only theories I'm alive. Nah, no. Like, they, they would. Ow! Fuck you. Ooh, a banner. That's an armor? Is that a body armor? Back armor! Oh, I have a cape now, Nick! Give me the buckler, I need more bucklers. I need to be smart and equip the buckler. My right arm. I have three bucklers on now, Nick. Power. Hilarious. I like how the buckler is like a wrist thing, so you can equip something in your hand too. Well, it's, a, it's an arm thing, which I mean, that's what that's what a buckler was usually. Yeah. No, it's not. It's not a full-on shield. It means it's it's kind of shitty. It doesn't really do a whole lot for me. It sometimes does something for me. It's a lot of kudzu, which is like free XP. So. I do, however, need more hatchets. I don't have enough hatchets. Speaking of hatchet, thank you, game. I appreciate you. Equip hey, the hatchet. Level up. Alright, uh, we have mutation points, which we can use on the arms. Uh, regeneration. Okay. Next level up, we make our eye lasers better.
X, X. So, so nice. Well, when my character hits, he's actually pretty fucking threatening. But, you know, hitting. <laughs> Only issue is like I, I, just don't, I don't I don't hit enough against like to to like ow and then they crit me like that's like oh my health oh gloves I need gloves is it my gloves now on my lower hands Oh, water skin, this is my mail. I thank you greatly. Hello, our laser, dismember our laser. You're dead. Ooh, black robes and a head axe. <laughs> and I, how come I only cut off faces, Nick? Wait, you like the face is one of the things you can cut off? Yeah. Not a head, just the face. Yeah. Did they die when you cut off their face? No, they they bleed massively, which can lead to death. Okay. Right, I I now have four axes. Makes sense. I imagine I'd have a hard time, you know, surviving with my face gone. And then uh, I could wear the face. Now, do you want something really funny, Nick? What? So if I get my face cut off. I can put on my face, and it gives me an ego buff. <laughs> oh. Because okay. because my guy thinks he's handsome. So he's oh. like, I'm wearing a handsome face. So I okay, sure. <laughs> which, is, which is pretty fucking great, you gotta admit. <laughs> Was it, uh, there's the downstairs. Downstairs! You're just like sitting here minding your own business. Some guy walks down the staircase, just immediately eye lasers. <laughs> like, ah! I'm dead. I see. A slumberling. Impossible. Oh! That's a mimic! Okay, so... What? What do you mean it's a mimic? Like, you thought it was a chest and it turned to be slumbering, or...? So, a slumbering is a mimic where they, they, they disguise themselves as borders or walls or whatever. Um, oh, okay. they're an endgame enemy and they're not meant to spawn here, but they just do and he hasn't fixed it yet. Oh, so you're gonna leave? I'm gonna leave, yeah. Okay. Or maybe just not go... Yeah, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, he killed the spider. Fuck you. Fuck that shit I about. <laughs> right, well, that's, um, not a thing I'm dealing with. Now, fortunately, like, the, the, the rock variant is slow as shit because it's, you know, a rock. So you can outrun it pretty easily. But that's still, um, unfortunate. We are, we are not prepared to fight that thing at, like, all. Okay, well, um, part of me wants to go down and, like, see if it's still there. Because, like, I don't want to leave... Because I need the XP. I need to get stronger. 
Yeah. But I can probably find another dungeon here. I'd be more surprised if I couldn't. Oh, I'll probably have to leave. Oh, that was something really funny. What? This game has built-in saves coming. Oh, really? Yeah. How so? There's an item you can get that if you inject yourself with it, the next time you die, it'll rewind you back to when you injected it. Ah. That's good. It's day time! Yay! Uh, outskirts, red rock. Outskirts, red rock. Salt marsh. Fire marsh. Might. There are hostiles nearby. Oh, there is. Hey, look at that. Ah, uh, fire laser. Hand is dead. Fire laser. Hand is dead. What what's that over there? What what's exploding? A flaming water vine. Huh. I see. We gotta just leave. Oh, there's one. You're back here, rock. So is the right still red rock? Oh, that's Red Rock. Red Rock surface. I think this is the only place that's Red Rock. Which means I need to go down there and deal with that. Cool. And by deal with that, I mean we are just going to walk away from that thing. And if it kills me, I am going to save scum because that thing's not meant to spawn here. Because it's an endgame enemy, and this is a beginning quest area. Yeah. I mean, God, yeah, that thing being there just, like, ruined the run. Definitely ruined the run. For sure you're going to survive past this first area for the first time. Wait. I have an idea. Crazy enough to work. Hey, Rock. Do you want to become my companion? I don't know how to how to apply this correctly. Uh, hold on, hold on. I I don't want to fuck this. Granted, if I fuck it up, I can just I can just I can just save scum it. But uh, caves of quad love injector. That's probably not a good thing to uh search on. Scream. Well, uh, make sure it's not love and there's. Right. Uh, yeah, like basically anytime you search anything that has like a weird word, you're like, ah, eh, this might be porn. Let's not have this on stream. Okay, hold on. There's a 4% failure rate for every level higher R than you. Alright. All right, uh, that's an option. I don't know what what faction are you part of? Oh, it's asleep. I'm gonna just walk on out of here. Don't mind me. So the plan is, I can go. I uh, hopefully, probably not, but hopefully, I can go low enough to get strong enough to beat that. Probably not, because again, it's an end game thing, and I would need 
I'd basically need to find a nuke, which is an option. I could find a nuke. Dismember. What did I dismember from it? I don't know. My god, you fucking little twat. Stop it. Slowly heal. Sword, blah, blah, blah. I need, a, I need a level up, uh, I think one more time so I can get the dual wielding ability, which will make me a lot stronger. Yeah, right. yeah, cause yeah can't, can't, can't you still only like, have like one weapon right now? No, I, I have all four weapons right now, but if I get the dual wielding ability, it'll increase the chances for them to attack by a lot, increase the chance to hit, and I'll get an ability to uh, just uh, force all of them to hit. Okay. Hey, Mr. Rock. You still asleep over there? Yeah. See, the good thing is, I I'm not using a torch, so it I'm not, like, generating bright light. I just have, like, see the, see the light, see the darkness thing. Okay, and that, does that make it like harder for enemies to notice you then? Uh, no. I actually have no idea how that uh, helps me. I think it just makes it so that it's less likely to, um, I won't wake the thing up. You presented it like, like, yeah, see, it's a good thing I'm not using a torch. And then I asked like, oh, does it, oh, so it helps you? And you're like, eh. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Would you expect anything else from me? Suppose not. Laser eyes are stronger now. Ooh, no. Oh, there's there's a staircase down. Cool. Laser eyes, laser eyes, you Ooh, weird artifact. What's well, this weird artifact? Oh, I got two weird artifacts. Examine. A flaming iron battle axe. Well, well, well. Don't mind me. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> the electric. Oh, electrified brand sword. One electrified axe. Well, I have a flaming axe now, so that's pretty fucking cool. How much better is it better is it that than your other thing? Uh not no. not significantly. It's like two more damage. Ah. You know, it's uh, it's just like D D. Like, you know, you, you got the flaming thing, which is plus one damage. Yeah. Until you get like the, 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 the good flaming thing. Unless you're talking about D D five E, which in which case like magic items aren't a big thing. Where even like a level like 20 character might have like five or six magic items. This is unlike say Pathfinder or D&D 5 3.5, 3 which is like, oh, you're level six. Well, everything you have is magic. <laughs> At least somewhat, probably. Laser beam. Hey, you did. Oh, the laser does so much guaranteed damage, Nick. I don't like when I just kind of stumble upon a corpse. Oh, bear. I'll explain that. Laser beam. Laser beam. Laser beam. Laser beam. We grow in strength. In power. Oh, like a spider. I was like, hey! Fuck you! And I'm like, nah! Fuck you! And that. I 
Right, here, here's hoping that rock dude is still just kind of sleeping by the exit. I need to get a potion of sentience. And then animate a concrete wall, and then love injecting the concrete wall, make it my best friend. Okay. <laughs> Bringing Mossy Cobble into this game, I see. Yeah! It's really strong! <laughs> Wanna go, bitch? Alright, that beetle is killing, um, plants. I did get some slugs, though. I got some bear jerky. Ooh. I'm... So I don't think it'll happen. Because it, it wasn't out of to me. But I am so scared of, like, the thing coming down here and then just sitting right here. Wait, what was sitting right there? So I'm very scared of that mimic thing coming, oh, okay. I see coming what you mean. down Sorry. the I'll staircase just, like... and then just sitting in the, you know, the only way to get out of here in a way that yeah. I have to fight it. I, it shouldn't happen because I didn't aggro it down here, but I'm scared it might. Is this the run I had guns? It was the run, gun run I had guns. I have, I have a lot of guns now. Or, uh, bullets now. Um, so we're gonna... We're gonna take the revolver. I think it's easier to use? I don't know, I don't know what the arrow means. I don't know the arrow means, like, to hit, or what? Like, say, these axes, that always has a, a five. That's a six. I don't know. If, I don't know if the the arrow means it's better or not. Um. Anyway, uh, we're, we're put the revol revolver into our range slot on our right one, and the rifle into our left one. And we're uh we're we're basically a kind of terrifying amalgamation right now. Uh, how do I reload it? Nope. There we are. Nope. Alright, that's six slugs. How do I shoot? I haven't had a gun before. Uh, fire missile weapon with F. Why are there so many bullets down here? That's really weird. I keep getting damaged by range attacks. Because my armor sucks. And my dodge skill sucks. And I keep getting feared by the plants! Your, your um, avatar kind of looks like Rambo. Just so you know. A little bit. So I finished finding the critters. Oh! Alright, mister! Y you told me that I'm looking it's for a white... because of the red banana. God damn it. So, the game told me I'm coming down here looking for a white thing with eight legs that screeches. I thought that was a spider, because that makes sense to me. It's apparently it's this purple thing. Okay. Is it not a... It's a purple thing, not a spider. Uh, no, it's a wadling. That's gonna get, uh, chopped. Alright, so what's gonna happen is I'm going to just remember. Hacha! Nani? Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, Moeru the Tempest. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Now, now that I have successfully hurt him, I am going to a flurry on him. Hacha, cha, 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 cha!
And then I, hacha one more time. And now it's going to bleed to death, and I laugh at it. And I go, ha, 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 you died. And I, I pick up its corpse, and I take that back, because I need to take that back. This is mine now. How you doing, Chungus? We're playing Quad. Uh, this is my dude, Jeb. He has four arms and laser eyes. He's a strong lad. Ah! Laser eye! Laser eye! I'm doing okay. My guy is taking an ass load of damage, but he regenerates a lot. So it's cool. What is hurting me? The seed spinning plants hurting me. Am I safe here? Yes, I'm safe here. This is a very uh, hard game. Uh, with the entire point of the game being break it as hard as you can. Learn the mechanics and break it as hard as you can. I have not learned the mechanics to break it as hard as I can yet, but it is something I want to learn. Laser! Ah, laser! More ah, laser! Strong! Ah, laser! Crashed. <laughs> the game crashed? Oh, crashed. Did it save at least? Yeah, it saves uh, when you enter the area. Alright, so this is when we entered this area, which is right before we died. We have not leveled up yet. Okay. Ah, laser! Ah, laser! Flurry! Who can grab that their armor? Is that better? Uh, not, not really. We can, we can die here. There we go. Okay. Oh. Here's your points. All right, laser. Okay. Oh, uh, can't rank advance it yet until we next level up. Maybe we go up. It'll go to higher damage and more charges. Fantastic. This area really sucks. I'm gonna fall back, recharge my eye lasers. Re heal up a little bit too, because that area is uh, kind of really dangerous. Because those giant amoebas are uh, very damaging. So how long is this game supposed to be? Like you say, if you were to like, complete a run. Um, very. So like, 10 hours and you die and you're just fucked? Kind of thing? Well, um, again, like... It, you, you can just, you can hit the 10 hour thing and then die and be like, well, I died, whatever. Or you can just auto F4 and then... Load the auto save. Uh. Um, or again, like say by that point in the game, you should have a ton of those, uh, those, uh, built in save scumming items. Yeah. The 
The fuck is that? Wet, glow-white cultist. Beneath the umbra of a sinking robe, flesh smears over the bones of a boy who surrenders his body to the metamorphic Newman. He has a carnivorous maw, bloody claws, and bloody claws. That's creepy. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a thing I want to deal with right now. Oh, it died. <laughs> because I rolled max damage and crit on the eye lasers. <laughs> Get fucked. This fucking mutated, like, child that like, comes in with the like, mouth agape, filled with bloody teeth, his claws charging at you, and just go, pew, pew. and it's fucking murder him. Uh, that's why we love the eye lasers, Nick. Right, right, right there. Because <laughs> he's dead. Yeah, I did. I did twenty-two damage in that one laser, which is enough to almost kill me. And at least right now, I don't think there's a lot of things that can just eat twenty-two damage. I got a bandage. Yeah, bear jerky. Yeah, cracked lens. Yeah. Uh, skill points, extra points. Oh, uh, is there any skills I want to get for dual building? I, I mean, because the only ones that I can get is just like better flurry. And you wait for twenty. Enjoy, enjoy for that. What I can do is get cooking. And be like, ah, oh, yes, I am Chef Madman. Man. And with, with Chef Madman Man powers, uh, if I get the right things, I can make some absurd shit. Like, you know, increase all of your stats by one permanently, increase your armor value by one permanently, Re reduce your weight by like a hundred permanently, so you can go into the negative weight. What does the negative weight do for you? Uh, I mean, nothing. It's just negative weight. So it's, you, uh, you, can, you, you know, you can carry more weight. Um, I, I can, I can make a meal out of a collapsing star and eat it. And then, there's a 25% chance I explode because I ate a collapsing star. Okay, so what do you get if, it, if you don't explode? Permanent armor increase. Just one? Uh, yeah, just one. How much is one armor, though? Uh, I don't know. The best armor I found was, like, ring mail that gave, like, three. Hmm. Seems like it's, like, a big risk for... Unless you had, like, enough of those, like, you know, save scummy items to, like, yeah. you know, take the risk. Yep, that's the point, is you get the save scummy item... You get an item that allows you to clone items, and then, yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, okay. Alright, who wants you to- You sit there, and you just clone both of those uh, into infinity, yep. I guess. Yep. Clone of a clone, Nick. Clone of a clone. Wet leather armor, bronze sagger, a corpse. We grow in power. We did complete the quest, though, Nick. That's that's the first time I've ever completed that quest. So that's cool. And we're, uh, we're, we're totally not gonna die a horrific death to this fucking slug. Take to no worm. Um, I can get a meal that will transform me into a, into an acid slug. 
that can that produces acid, compresses it, and shoots it out like with a with a, as a high powered water beam that will basically kill anything because it's you know acid. <laughs> Is that a troll? That's a cannibal. The stout human's bare skin is pallid from years of abstaining from sunlight. His eyes are glazed and bestial. Isolation has rendered him more of a beast than a man. He can bite, and he has a club. But does he have laser beam? Flurry! Ba -ba -ba. He's dead. Get fucked. He has a salt encrusted club. Slowly wait and heal. Get my lasers back. Don't look away and accidentally just die because you wait to because you you don't realize you're being attacked. Oh no! bleeding it's probably gonna die um I'm gonna... yeah it's probably gonna die it just, ex it just explodes yeah like that okay increase regenerate actually mm... on the one hand Increasing regeneration is a good thing because, like, faster co faster healing, which is good. On the other hand, I can save up for random mutation. So I want I want carbide chef. I, I want spicer first, and then carbide chef. Laser eye. Thank you, Laser Eye, for being the hero of this fucking run. My god. I'm sorry, thir 13 damage? Go fuck yourself. Only I do 13 damage. Well, what, what's that? Yeah, is that a crab dying? That's a crab dying. Crab? Eyeless crab dying? I died to a glow moth that I couldn't see, and it did all my damage in one turn. Yeah. Guess. Well. Are you gonna save scum or? Yeah. I will. I will accept dying for like. You know, I did a misplay or something. I won't accept dying of this thing just came in out of range that you couldn't see and killed you. You know. I, I think. I think that's fair. Ah, I'm back here. I have to kill a lot of shit. So how's your day been? Like, do anything fun? Not really. I made boots. Oh, wait, look, his feet! I cut off his feet, Nick! Are right, you gonna run away and wait for him to bleed out now? No, he's dead, but I'm, I can I cut his feet. Huh. I just. I, I don't like the idea of, like, this run that's been an hour just being edited just by some guy off screen who I couldn't see one shotting me. Yeah. And you die. And we don't get any mutations because we're saving up to get. Uh. We get cooking and gathering. 
Now we can cook food. Eat. Oh, look, a spider! Hands the chop. But it is shocking how good the eye lasers are. Because, you know, like, every, every time I cast it, it's like, like, 13 damage, guaranteed. Or I could attack with my axes and maybe do, like, four. You know, I critted for four. Well, your axes suck, then. Laser eyes. You fucking just sitting there waiting for me to come out, you fucking bitch. You're good for eight there, so that's pretty good. But then sometimes the enemies crit me, and it's like they just did 17 damage from a crit. That is almost half of my health from just bad RNG. God forbid that hit stunned me. Do I, I do want to upgrade the dual wielding a little bit when I have a high enough agility so I can increase the, the chances of my offhand hitting. As well as, you know, agility increases my base chance of hitting. Which good. I want to I want to come back here. I want to come back here. I want to um I have a corpse. I want to turn this. I there's hostile creatures nearby, you say? Oh no. Where? Ah, there. I see. Laser eye. Laser eye. Laser eye. Where? Laser eye. Answer. Now, yes. Yeah, there's so awesome creatures nearby. But I'm I'm hungry, Nick. I'm hungry. I want to be make my food. You can't. Oh, you, you have to eat, and you can't eat when there's people uh, when they're nearby. I can't cook when there's food nearby. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I, I could have a grenade. Have another grenade. Uh, examine the grenade. A thermal grenade. Ooh. I'm not a huge fan of uh, hunger mechanics in idle games. In idle games? Or oh, fucking not idle, um, uh, robot games. It's, at least for the most part, it's pretty easy to keep track, like, keep, keep, where does it matter? Like, say, I, I have, I have a lot of food on me that I can eat. I just want to do the, the cooking one because it's that yeah. free food. I guess it's the you want, because there's some uh, roguelike games where it's just like, food is the main enemy. Laser eye. Laser eye. Laser eye. Could you stop eating my fucking laser eyes and not dying? I say as he doesn't die. I dismembered a thing on you! I don't know why I dismembered because it's hard, because I, I can't tell from the... That the Oh my god. You have one HP. Fucking die. Uh Fire my gun! BAM! Fire my gun! Ba BAM! Uh guns. Who would have guessed, Nick? A rifle's really strong. Better than axe. Uh, unfortunately, I only have like ten shots left. Oh, bullets are limited. I'm going to very, very head up limited. and go make myself some food. Cause I'm hungry. Oh, it yeah. Uh, it got. Put out because of the slime. Let's try that one. There we are. Alright. Preserve my fresh food. 
Four fun moves into a fine way for sheaf. Preserve my exotic food. A love injector. Into five servings of congealed love. Just think it's a good quiff. Fine wafer. Congealed love and bear jerky. Cook. Never mind. Okay, do that. Bear jerky and fine wafer. Cook. What does the congealed love do? Is that something I, you can... I don't know. Can you, can you like... Uh, suck that up into a syringe for like the injectable love potion or whatever thing? I think so. I don't know. Like, I I, I haven't like researched all things I can do with the game. I just saw like okay. things that can happen late game. And it's like, I want to figure out how to do that thing. That's how many companions can you have? I don't think there's a limit. Mmm. <laughs> I like those words. Yeah, the, the, the limit being, like, how many can you keep alive? Uh, centipedes have Oh, Desert Crisp. Ooh. That's a knife. Very knife, though. What that? A glow moth. I think that's a kill me before. Wait, does it does that ability just like to look at me and do like thirty damage? Oh, it's dead now, so whatever. That crab over there is getting its shit handed to it. I don't know what's happening over there. Oh. Mr. Crab, what are you fighting over there? Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're alive. You're 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 you're, you're winning. And now you're dead. All right. So Snap Jaw is fine. The Eyeless Crab is fine. The Seven Feet's fine. It's Ember. Snap. Laser right. It does not care about the laser eyes. It's like, haha, I have armor, and then it died. And then it the died. Eyeless so the eyeless crab. Oh, wait, so. It's. There's a crab. Bloody... Was the other thing like a goblin head, or. Wait, what? Because it looks like a goblin head, like the little sprite that pops up. Oh, uh, that was, uh, that was just a crab. Uh. I leveled up. I get some hit points. I get some skill points. I get some mutation points. The mutations are being saved. I was like, that looks like Goblin Head, and oh wait, oh you're still fighting Crab? Oh, that that must be the Crab, but it turns out when I leaned in it was just a blood splatter. Now, we are going to get, uh, Spicer, and then save up for Carbide Chef. Uh, a small turquoise tube. That's probably a gun. That's mine now. Small turquoise tube. What are you? Examine. A shade oil injector. A what? A thunder metal tube uses a very strong of uh, duration. 41 to 50 rounds. Gives you DV. I don't know what DV does. Uh, there's a 25% chance per round that you phase out of the spatial dimension. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. That sounds like a good thing. Seems like an, an, an okay, ah shit, I'm about to die thing. Well, let's talk about the whole phasing out of the spatial dimension. That sounds like a beneficial stat. And I'm kidding. I also have a kitty on me. I need to be allowed to heal. I am I am the hurt. And I'm becoming the not hurt. Uh Ow! Fuck you, Glow Moth, and whatever the fuck you have that does ten fucking damage a turn at long range. You're getting killed by another glow moth. Hey, 
Is there a way to like increase your sight then? Because like it seems kind of unfair that there's enemies that just like kill you from. The the, off the issue is we're underground and there's just a lot of the enemies there that have that attack, that just uh. does an absurd amount of damage at long range. It's unfair. And like I I don't I don't know what I could like I think the only thing I could really do would be to like leave. With my, um, leave and turn the quest in, and then go from there. Uh, but I'd have to run back through here and pray the mimic doesn't murderify me. It looks like that thing that Glow Moth has liked basically my laser eyes, because it's. They haven't missed yet, and it does like 12 damage a hit. And I, I don't. I don't really know what I can do to better avoid that. I don't, I don't think to do better avoid that besides just like, ah yes, it is there, I will now focus everything I have on that, and ignore the things, you know, all the other things that are currently killing me. I do like this game a lot, though. It's, it's a good game. I just... I wish the game felt like it progressed at a better rate or something. It's like the game, like it's a. It seems like it's a roguelike game, but isn't like built around being a roguelike game. I don't know. Yeah. Just I, like, I, traditionally supposed to be pretty short and snappy, you know, just like you know, a, around an hour for a run, just because like. That's the nature of a roguelike, like you might die easily and lose all your stuff. But I don't know. Oh no, we 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 leaving. Seems like this one's pro uh, I think uh Oh you need to restream it to me. Oh. Oops, I forgot. Oh snipers playing an idol game. Wow. Wow. There we die. Go. Die. Die. Laser eye, die. Laser eye, cleave. Mobility, I cut off the amoeba's leg. Or I, I cover a pseudopod. It is dead now. We should play a Trouble in Terrorist Town sometime. I do, I, I, wa I want to play like Trouble in Terrorist Town with like Chungus and Gojers and whatnot. He doesn't know what Trouble in Terrorist Town is. Oh, it'd be fucking amazing to play with him then. I was like, how the fuck do you not know what Trouble in Terrorist Town is? You're like my age. We have to, like, play with him and not explain to him at all about it. Big Chungus, are you still here? Not, not American Chungus, but Big Chungus, are you still here? Big Chungus GameCube. I remember one time I um got banned from a Trouble in Terrorist Town ser server uh for kill for for RDM uh you know basically like RDM you're know, random deathmatch you know basically killing someone for no reason while I was the terrorist and that and that was really confusing to me because uh that was like one of the first games I played and it took me a while before I understood that I didn't do anything wrong and that and the mod was just retarded. <laughs> yeah. I'm hungry, I'm gonna go eat.
probably salty because I killed them or something. I don't know. Very possible. Preserve food! Preserve food. Food preserved. So, I, I was watching this really dumb video on this game, and, uh, one of my favorite lines was like, Caves of Quud is probably one of the only games in the world that you can get caught playing, and your boss go, Damn, my main spreadsheet is fucked up! <laughs> and I was like, hey. That, like, because th that's just really funny to me. Alright, Mr. Moth, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save real quick. Alright, Mr. Moth, where the fuck are you if you're stupid ass? I do 20 damage a turn at long range that you can't dodge. Go fuck yourself. And I'm only hostile to you. I'm not hostile to all the other things that are here. I'll go left. Fuck you. I'm... Subterranean Sobers? Oh no! Is that a cat? It's a rain cat! The fine glass like fibers of this compact feline's coat cut to bend the light of far stars in a strange semi for snoops. Alright, well, it's neutral to me. So we cool. Now, the, the fucking might flash bang mine layer. Neat. Charge. Yeah! Just remember. That's a lot of fucking amiibos. Amiibos? Amiibos. Sponsored by Nintendo. Fuck you, amiibo. Fuck you, amiibo. I'm stunned! From what? From a pseudopod? Hey, 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 fuck you, Mr. Robot. I wanna- I want your mine layer. Yeah! Try that again. Yeah! Try that again. Yeah! Try that again. Yeah! Whoa! I didn't get it. Well, attempts are made. What are you? Are you fucking, uh... You're an Arcanaut! Her cloak bulges around her waist where she sashes a strap on her belt. She doesn't look at you, but two steps in front of you. She has a lot of stuff. So these guys are these guys are friendly. They're, they're tradesmen. I can go hey. He's like, let's not linger together. Like, you want to trade? And he's like, yeah, sure. I have um copper nougat. I'm like, I want the nougat. And then in exchange for the nougat, I will give it to you. An electrified bronze two-handed sword. Haha. -ha. And this bronze battle axe. Uh, and then she'll be like, ah, yes, I shall give you some drams of water to make it good. You'll put up one dram of fresh water. A dram of water is like fucking nothing. Like, is it, it, didn't you say the water basically counts as money, right? Yeah. Like yesterday? And like you, your your fucking merchant came into the came into the world carrying like ninety pounds of water. Yeah, so I'm a merchant. She was about ten gallons. So you know, I'm a merchant. Alright, enemy. Who else wants to come up against Jeb, the lion laser guy? You do, Mr. Beetle! Lion laser, you're dead. No, you're not. Lion laser! Lion laser! Chop! Power! I 
had a, a what event? Uh, is that a landmine? What, what is that? that? Looks like a landmine. That's a urchin. All right. Well, urchin, uh, you're hostile to me, so I laser exploded. It's, it's nice to allow you to like, kind of examine anything to see if it's hostile and what exactly it is. It, it, it's a it's a trash monk. He has nothing. Get out of your trash monk. So uh, if you were to attack uh, him, would that fuck up your reputation with, like, the trash monk? Uh, people? no. The only way to affect the reputation is, uh, either, like, the books, or interacting with, uh, heroes. Okay. Or quests? Maybe. Quests don't affect your... I numbers? don't know. I haven't done a quest yet. I thought you did a quest yesterday. No, no, no. I, I, I took a quest. And then we died. Okay. And bear. Okay. Your leg has been cut off, bitch! Alice. What what does um the congealed love do? What, what's this do? A love of was injected to thing in the acrid air and bottled for culinary use. Adds love and loyalty based effects to cooked meals. Hon hon hon. I don't know if that translates to in game terms, but hon hon. Ooh, why is blocks for some plant matter? A plant matter? Oh, I can just go. Aja! Aji! Hachu! So what is Ow. that like a is that like a is that just like an enemy type or that like enemy um wait sleeping gas prefix? oh drowsing urchin I see uh I I, I think so I think it's just prefix doesn't really affect anything okay. like you know if a campfire is wet you can't use it okay. So like, so enemies become wet if they're like found if they're like going to water or get splashed with yeah, water. Yeah, and which... then like wet would just mean like oh, like if you hit it with a lightning attack, you do more damage, kind of thing. Yeah, as well as I think it increases your heat resistance, so it makes fire damage do a little bit less. Okay. This game is really cool. I like it. It's just I need to learn like what they intend you to do for like the early. Game. You still friends, cat? Nothing great, so. Can I pet the cat? Gray cat shies away. Aww. I like that there's just the cat faction. So that I can become friends with the cats, and everyone's like, and all other cats to be like, he's a good cat. He's a good cat. You can, you can, you can let him pet you. Cuties. It's like cats from, um,. Ancient Meg Mega Spread, where they're like cats, like cats have nine lives and um, they get smarter as they go through their lives. And there's the king of cats. The cat king. Look at all that XP I'm getting, I'm becoming strong. And by, by strunk, I mean I will still get fucking one shot by like, the first thing I see. Small cobalt tube for 90. I don't, I don't hate him, 90. Am I out of water? Oh no. No, no, I have 22. Okay, I was about to be, uh, I was about to be concerned there for a moment. Ow. A wet thistle? Wet thirst thistle. Trying to leave his 
pant in the salt sucked air and the fire dangling with a sharp thistles to the thirsty attention. It looks like you have water to attack you. But Oh, it also makes you really thirsty. Cool. I'm not gonna even ask how the fuck that works. Where its ranged attack makes me thirsty. There goes, like, most of my fucking water. You know, I'm gonna not go that way. Because I don't want to deal with that shit. Because I don't have water to deal with that shit. I'm leaving. Uh, salty water. Um, let us collect the liquid. Into my water skips. And I am now heavy with water. Uh, can I use fire to make the salty water not salty? I do have a metal, a metal sheet, so maybe. Not exactly certain how the game deals with salt water. Can you drink salt water and it makes you, like, more thirsty because salt think, water? I think it has a chance to make you sick. Okay. Although I haven't tried drinking salt water because I'm like, that's a dead made deal. Fresh food. Let me cook with. Uh, worm jerky. Buy a worm bear jerky. 13 max. You thirst at half rate. Hey! I, I want to have like the good shit where it's like you get permanent stage. I don't have that yet. Bruh, how are the crabs like the strongest fucking thing I've thought? Like, I could barely fucking hurt you. I mean, while they hurt me very much. Uh, okay, I just I, I attack you, and kind of pray I get some crits. Yeah. Ideally, perhaps, maybe, possibly, I will uh, be able to make like crab meat stew. And be like, haha. I now have armor increase. Because I have eaten of the crab. Mm. Alright, 102. So now I can buy a carbide chef. This now means uh, I have a chance um, to acquire. The ability to make a super recipe that will give me good shit. Hello, I'm the glow moth. I looked at you and you took nine damage. Moth hits me for all of my health as I run away. Thanks, Glow Moth, for being a fucking little shit. Oh, did it die? No. You wanna go, Mr. Kobold War that looks like Dog Dog Soldier from uh, Undertale? Die. Wet painted furs. Ah, it was ooh, his left hand. Uh 
Uh, so it's nearby. It, it just crit me for 20 damage. Uh, I'm I'm hiding here in hopes that it'll just kind of poke its around a corner and I can murder it. But at the very least, you heal before... Yeah. <laughs> before, um... You heal and it leaves, maybe. That also work. Even more healing. Like, outside of doing this, I don't really know what I could do better. You know? Yeah. Have you thought about trying a net hack as well? That oh. other one I told you about? I have not, because I kind of forgot about it. It seems like it's like this one where it's just like, you know, simple graphics, you know, roguelike, but um, I think you might like that one just because you like games where it's like, there's just like lots of, you can, lots of customization and stuff you can do, where it's like, like the uh, people that play the game, like kind of the saying for it is the devs thought of everything. I think we'll get it. Where it's like one example I saw was like before before you cross the ocean in your boat, you want to take a ch a tub of like grease and grease yourself up so that way if you fight the kraken and it tries to grab you, you slip out of its tentacles. It's kind of great. I do, I do like it. Lego said hi. Hello. Hello. Preserved by food. Ah yes, some eyeless crab legs into crab jerky. Delicious, delicious crab chicken. Oh, oh. One, of the, one of the worst part though, Nick. What? Or, real quick, strange tubes. You want to take a guess what the strange tubes are? Strange, strange what? Tooth? Strange you said? tubes. Uh. uh so uh, wait, are there parts of a chair? Is that why that? It, it, it is. It is a chair. It's a metal folding chair. Okay. I don't oh know God. what the point of it is, but chair. Cha 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 cha. -cha. I have cut off your something. I don't know. I cut off the crab's face. That works. Alright, if we love one more time, we can get a random mutation. That may be good, maybe bad. Staircase up? Where the fuck is this? Subterranean salt marsh. I don't want to be here. Goodbye! I don't really feel bad about Sam scumming in this game. For a, a game as hard as it is, it requires as much as a time investment as a, as a master score. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it just it makes it turns it from like, it just means you're not really playing it as a roguelike game, which is fine. I mean, if you're not gonna have fun otherwise, why, you know, you're not winning a prize by doing it the way doing it the way um, Hello. other people would want you to. Let's, let's, let's Hey, crocodile! Hi, laser! And you're dead. I, I love the, the fucking, like, sounds they make when they just- like, Ugh! Meow, kitty. Urgh. I'm a bear. Ready? 
Attribute points yet? No. I need some attribute points. I didn't make agility better. Ah, yes! The, 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 the tree came alive? No, just giant centipede. Giant centipede nest! Ah! Oh, no! I see, I see, there's a lot of them! Whoop, 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 whoop! Laser right! Laser right! Laser right! There is a lot of them! Holy shit! It was a nest, so I guess that makes sense, but holy shit! Agility. Improve. Alright, uh, random mutation. Bye. Yes. Alright. Burgeoning, beguiling, or pyrokinesis. Alright, uh. Pyrokinesis sounds. Fun, but let's see. Oh, and you're oh burgeoning weapons. sounds cool though. Just I want to actually read what it is. Yeah, it spontaneous grow. Uh, it causes plants to spontaneous, spontaneously grow. But uh, is the beguiling it's... permanent? Uh, probably not. I don't know. Mutation make or you can go mod plus character level plus one d eight versus defender ma plus character level. Range one beguiled creature plus five, maybe it's permanent. I'm taking beguiling mine, just because that could be good. Because if it ends up being permanent, that's too good to give up, honestly. Uh, because normally there's like a duration stated. Uh, it's probably not. It's probably like a hidden one. You can switch it, probably tell you. Ah. Uh. I'll be right back. I gotta feed my kitty. Okay. So we'll try beguiling uh, something and see what they do. Fuck off! I'm healing! I am a centipede. I'm gonna attack you. I am healing. I am heal man jam. Leave me alone. Hold on, fucking die. Second. Beguile. BAM! It ogles me lovingly. So it is friend now. It's beguiled. I don't know how long that lasts, but it is friend now. Holy shit, that's a lot of fucking dudes. That's our, our armorer! Hello, Tempest! I saw you follow a while ago. How are you, my guy? Any fucking centipedes, man! Fuck this shit, I'm out! Your companion jumped the same death. Sorry, centipede died. Oh no. Well, that's a lot longer than I thought it would, and I could beguile something else. How are you doing, um, uh, Moru? Where, uh, I don't know Holy Moru. Ah, uh, yes, healing has been acquired. Centipede has been killed. Thanks, man. I'm glad you enjoy it. I am trying very hard to kill the centipede nest, and it is just not working. Like, you would think theoretically it'd run out of centipedes eventually. I've got a lot of them. Uh, there can only be so many centipedes, giant centipedes, mind you, like python sized centipedes in a nest. How many more are there? There's still a lot more. Laser beam. Laser beam. Uh, beguile. Chop. Uh. Chop. 
Uh, Centipede, you are still alive. Congratulations, you have evolved. The nest is dead, I think. Uh, uh, I think we got it. A, a, a star? A forge? So this was the armorer's house. He's, you know, dead now. But this was his house. So that's uh, a thing. How long has this beguiling last? I, I can't imagine it's permanent. I, I, I really can't. Beguiled. Okay, okay, so I can have one creature beguiled, it looks like. So I think it is permanent. I think I think this guy is like permanently mine. Until I beguile another one. That's really strong. That's like really strong. Come back. Right, so it looks like the beguiling is permanent. It just I can only have one. Okay, that's still really good though. Yeah, it's still really good, like for just a thing that has a cooldown. Because if anything, that's something that will absorb at least one hit for you. Yeah, and like God forbid, I get like a fucking crab or some shit. Like, or that you know, moth. Or that moth. Hold on, hold on. What, what, real quick. So you're fine. Um, I need you to die. Thank you. Okay. Uh, my center, and it gives them extra health, which is really cool. So it makes them pretty powerful. Like again, if I could get the crab, like just it's tanking alone would be a lot. It does a lot of damage. I don't think I could get the moth, at least not yet, because the beguiling only has a range of one. And the moth's really fast, and it flies. But it looks like they kind of prioritize me. So, um... I did see, like, a really dumb thing to do. Uh, so, uh, Psychic Abilities gets really, really dumb strong. Like, if you uh, pursue Psychic Powers correctly, it gets stupid strong. Alright? Alright. Um, so, the, the developers had to put in, like, their own way to balance it. Or, the developer. Uh... What he chose was to have, like, the others watching you, which are other really strong psychic people. So as you get stronger, they will then want to kill you to try to take your powers for themselves. Okay. Alright, so the slugs now hit me for 25 damage. That's... That would have killed you before if you had your base health. So like 20, whatever, your beginning. All right, so if that slug snout gets into close range, I'm going to beguile it. Because, goddamn. There he is. Hey, you! Best buddy! Oh, wow. So I, I I would have suspected it'd fail, because it seems like it'd be a hard thing to land properly. It's based on their level, and it gets... So basically, I just need a. I just basically, if, if I if I'm reading it correctly, I basically just need to roll like above their level, when I get like, I get my levels modifier too. And if they okay. don't, if they don't have any mental defense, which I mean these are animals, they probably don't. Then it's not. Then they're. It's basically almost guaranteed to pass. As right, so I have the slug snout now, which. Is basically just a mobile gun. So that that should make me pretty fucking strong. 
Now, the question is, do, do it, if it kills something, do I gain XP? Hopefully. If not, will it still be worth it? Uh, I mean, just for the damage, yeah. Uh, the giant dragon fight dies. I did not get XP. A musket turret? Not nah, Uh, I gained 400 XP just now. So, I think I do get XP for it. I think, I think, I think the whatever it kills has to be hostile to me, though. Cool. Because it killed a turret that was shooting me. Ow. Uh, charge? It killed something, and I got 400 XP. And the only, the only thing I can think of is that turret. I mutated, I leveled up, uh, which gives me the ability to acquire cleave, which gives my attacks a chance to, um, a, a chance to, uh, reduce their armor by one every time I attack. And that can stack up to, like, 16. Alright. Barking bed. Yeah, right, we're just gonna not look. We've got him in bed. All right, Mar Maru, have a good night, my, my guy. I'll see you later, hopefully. This is a very complex area. What is going on here? <laughs> Sorry. What is that? It looks like a cake. What is that? A gelatinous wedge. I didn't visit cake. Organic matter is liquefied by the agents of decay and pressurized by tight space into the shapes of a prismatoids. Galvanized by a cousin instinct to hunger, the gelatin entity now extrudes its soul forward in a wedge form. Cool, die. Ah, it's eating me. At least trying to. Alright, that's a thing. If it kills your bowler by the eyelet. Hey, what are you? You're, you look friendly. Worshipper of Obokoru. This nude brown skinned figure alternates between kneeling low before the shrine of Obokoru and skulking around and observant uh, skulking around it observantly. Uh her body is black with the dirt of the earth, but her face is uncharacteristically clean. And you notice every so often she uncorks a water skin that hangs around her neck, moistens her hands, and scrubs the grime from her cheeks and brow. Obercar's worshippers deem this rite a more meaningful use of the precious fresh water than even the quenching of thirst. And in uh, presenting unsullied faces to the idol of their ape god, they hope to pr uh, pr uh, pr propitiate him and guard his favor and protection. Oh, I... shit. That's a little crazy. Well, eh. Whatever. Uh, my 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 fucking gun board just killed a crocodile for me. Oh look, monkeys or baboons. Hello, baboon. All right, I see the shrine. Are we friendly? Nah. What day? Uh, Mopongo Pilgrim and Mechanist Convert. A, a squats on a soft halo of cool light that emanates directly from, from the plates of air carapace armor, and the fur between every movement is accompanied by sibilant music as those plates slide over one another, whispering a wordless prayer. Alright. You're a person. You, uh, you want to talk? Okay, no problem. Bye, her night. Glory to uh, Shekinaka. That's right. Mechanicals of Chromatic Verse. You have a book. Books are expensive. Do you want these? Uh... Do all books do something, or are some of them just lore? Some are just lore. A lot of them are just lore. Some give me, like, uh... Some do... A lot of, uh, again, a lot of them are just lore. How's my water supply doing? I got... 
another 64 drams of fresh water at some point. I'm not sure when. Can you boil salty water to get fresh water? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen if I could or not. I'm pretty sure this is stealing. Because you have, like, haven't had to, basically. Yeah. Pray. Can you, did you lay down? Why do you have a metal floating chair and a chest? Oh, wait, they're sleeping. Uh, albino ape pelt. That's expensive. Holy shit. Uh, at first I thought that's a girlish corpse, and I was like, what? Oh, the monkeys! Oh. No, I want... I want the chest, not the bedroll. Okay, well, I guess I can't open the chest. Actually, perhaps. Hacha! Silver nugget and an iron buckler! Put you on my other arm. Alright, so Nick, I now have four bucklers and four axes. Great. So you have, you have the build you wanted? Well, I mean... I guess. Do you have um? Do you have a uh, dual wielder? Yes. Cool. I died by a wet hulking baboon. Uh huh. Go beguile the baboon. Apparently. Wet hulking baboon? Are you the wet hulking baboon? You are the wet hulking baboon. 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 You're mine now. So is that thing stronger than your boar, or is your boar just, like, getting low? It was... Well, I mean, it was probably just that it got into melee range. Oh, wait! Bloody! Ooh! 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 Ee, ooh! The Seven Ring Baboon Demagogue! What? <laughs> it's a legendary baboon. Oh. So, his... Can you beguile that baboon? I could. Uh, so his name is... Ooh! 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 Ee, ooh! Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> Seven ring bubble. Um. Either A, I wait like 38 rounds to beguile it, or B, I just laser beam the fuck out of it. Do you still have that love potion? Or I, is that your last character? Uh, it's this character, but it's diluted, so it's not actually an injectable now, and now it's for food. Oh. Was it always diluted? Uh, no, I, I diluted it to get more, to see what that does. And I'm gonna try, oh. when I, later on, I'm gonna try to turn into food. So, I think oh, I just okay. kill it? Although... Legendary Baboon Lord. Uh, I can begin now. Oh, Baboon! You are not baboon. You're not the baboon I want anyway. You are weak baboon. You got murdered by my baboon. The weakest of baboon. Now where is queen baboon? There is queen baboon. <laughs> he like, it sees me come and is like, oh no. Yes, you are mine, queen baboon. I need a campfire. Campfire. Preserve my food. Uh, 13 vine wafers and a chief, some raw croc meat, and a croc jerky. Croc jerky sounds good. Alright, congealed love with croc jerky and bear jerky. Whenever you take damage, there's an 8 to 10% chance you beguile a creature as per beguiling at level 7 to 8. Excuse me? Hmm. Hmm. 
Alternatively, I get plus four ego and make my laser beams really good. E yeah, ego would also make your Beguile eat better. So that might be better in the long run. Because uh, you, because uh, I'm gonna guess you still can't have more than one beguiled creature. I don't know. I would assume so, but I don't know. I mean, you could always take the middle one to test it, but I mean, overall, the um, the top one would probably be better. I I need to I need to figure out because how to make these things like permanent. Because I, I know there's there's a way to make these buffs permanent. I just, I don't have the thing, whatever I need for that. I think, I think we just take the middle oh, and just- Oh, oh, is, oh, is this, is the dish, um, it's like, only last a limited time? It'll last a day. Uh, I'd say probably in the middle one, that way yeah, you I can, think like, just, just test it. You learn to cook Jeb's crock jerky over erotic lax crock jerky and loaf. Alright, yeah, so for the rest of the day, there's an 8% chance I'll be guy a creature for beguiling. So I need to get into combat, then. Well, it's when you take damage. Yeah, that's what I need to get into combat. Now, unfortunately, it's only, like... Fuck you, please move. It's only, like, an 8% chance, which isn't super good. Good job, good job, Queen Baboon. Ow! Lighting. There's a car alarm going on outside. Great. I love how car alarms, like, most of the t Hello? Rifle turret tinker. Oh, you're hostile. Uh-huh. Can I- I wanna- I wanna take off your gun. That's cool with you. I don't penetrate the armor, huh? How about with these strikes? And it's dead. They can level up. Oh. My, my, ba oh. my baboon queen leveled up. Oh. Wow. wow. That is. <laughs> well then. Good to know. Now I think only like legendary characters can. Because that makes sense. Only legendary characters can. But that is a. Uh... What to know? So the issue that we have right now, though, is because of what her lore is, um, she's hated by the Merchant's Guild for some reason, and by the Daughters of Exile for the Reigns of the Ancestors. So, if we go and see those factions, she will attack them. So, I mean... Those factions realize it's a monkey, right? Yeah. Got it. Laboon. Fucking Laboon. <laughs> I need to find a monster and not accidentally fucking kill it. Just let it stab me a few times. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. Come on, hit me, hit, hit me. me, hit me! It died! Stop trying to hit me, hit me! Active effects two. Defense. Right, blood. Oh, yeah, whenever you take damage, 8% chance we got a creature. Hit me! Alright, so, uh, they start at level 1, because it's leveled up twice now. Can I... Can, 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 can I level her up? I... 
So is it only the legendary creatures you have to worry about, uh, like, the factions with? Yes. Ah! Select version by Beguile Creature. Beguile that thing. Wait, what? Okay, so yes, I can only have one thing Beguiled at a time. So you lost your monkey. Yeah, but I'm going to re regain it back. So I'm gonna... Whoop! Beguile! Whoop! Okay. So it gave you a choice to Beguile? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so so now you know that you know that one isn't really as worth it. If you if if you have the bug isling ability. Yeah. Good to know. Uh, I might die though. Be I might die like from learning that though. Nah, I'm fine. Close to death. Very close to death, but I'm okay. But no, I, I would much rather have baboon. For, you know, like, obvious fucking reasons of it can level up. Fucking crabs, man. They hurt so much. Mm, mud crabs. I think I fucked up. Okay. Uh. God damn it. Oh, F4 because the game made me lose. I think I, I don't know when it last saved, though. Uh, it's, into an area. it's supposed to. It hasn't. Well. I'm just gonna sit here. Until I uh, gain my charge back, and then you're mine. <laughs> oh wait, I know what I'm supposed to do, I remember now. Uh, so I beguile. I kill this thing first. Uh, yeah. Uh, dismember. Ja! So, uh, we're, we're not taking this one again, because this one's been kind of fucking annoying. Uh, how do I, how do I talk? So, I want to talk to C. Why is it C? Alright, so, what we can do is we can trade, and I can give her a weapon. Where are my axes? Do I have any axes on me? I can give her armor. And because, like, she air quotes loves me, this is all free both ways. I need to find a weapon for her. Alright, so now she has the furs on, so she has armor now. Not not good armor by any fucking means, but armor. Well, your armor. Hello? Something went wooba woob over here. Yeah, like that. Bruh. This fucking monkey is a beast. Alright, so that's a... Beguile's pretty strong. I wonder how much it costs at character creation. Probably like everything. Probably. I'd say it's probably like five points or so. That that is really strong. I, I got I got pretty fucking lucky with uh, that that roll. Are you guys teleporting in here? You guys want to talk about that? 
Ah! Alright, man. Peace. Later. See you, Crafty. Alright, can I, can I take this thing yet? Very tough. It is sleeping. Monkey, please don't attack it. Monkey. It's only tough now instead of impossible, though, so we have, like, a chance. Not, you know, a good one. Now, I could mind control that thing. Which wouldn't be a terrible idea. But I would lose, like... The scaling of uh, Baboon. You know? Yeah. Man, I have to. It, it's kind of annoying to me how the uh, the stats like switch like sides. Uh, uh, it, it, uh, like how sometimes it's on the left, sometimes it's on the right. It's like, yeah, it's. Like, it's Trying to move it, be like, say if I'm on the left side, be on the right. If I'm on the right side, be on the yeah. Left. But like, the, there's not really a need to do that. I mean, because like the the area where you are stays the same. So, all right. There's a lot of those mimic things here. I feel like I might want to leave. Just a uh, concept. Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright, so it's dehydrated now. Um, I don't know if it's still dehydrated, but I know it doesn't have water. What if I... Here, I'll, I'll give you some, some salt water. I'm sure I'll be fine. Here's some salty water. So, I gotta say, Nick, plants that, that instantly make you super hungry, it's kind of asinine. Yeah. So you can, like, die of starvation dehydration? Yes. Mm. Takes a bit, but, you know, like, it's kind of hard to do naturally unless there's effects like that happening. Uh, there is something kind of funny, but really horseshit that can happen where um there's enemies later on that have giant magnets ooh acid that's bad i'm sorry what is that what what are these things oh what what the fuck is this no 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 game i i want to know what what the fuck is this a space-time vortex. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Space-time... Vortex. Vortex. Wanna go in? Of course. Space, space, time, vortex. Did it just spawn? Uh, uh colored petals, so it's a friendly thing. Space, time, vortex! I'm at a goat folk village. The goat folk are angry at me. I see, I see. I thought maybe we'd be friendly, but no, I can see we are not. And you kind of really fucking hurt. Please die. Ah, 
Alright. <laughs> Crash. <laughs> Death. I, yeah, crashed. I don't know what a... That's a very... Huh. Area. I think we're stuck there, though, now. Like you, like, you teleported there, now you can't get out. Yeah. And it's just gonna murder you instantly. Well, not instantly, as we saw, like, we, we, we almost killed it. It's just... Uh, no, we're back. Here. This is pretty far back. So this is, like, when we start, when we, when we discover what the thing does. Uh, that's not too far back. That's then. not too bad. That's not too bad, no. Yeah, so that's, not, that's not too bad. That's fine. Oh, we'll probably be in the ship pretty soon, though. Actually, this might be a good place to end it. Everyone's getting off because it's, you know, fucking 10. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we're, we're actually in the stream right here, and we'll continue our adventures maybe tomorrow, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what's what, what, what happening. So, I'd like to thank you for coming out, you. Thank you for coming, and hopefully, I'll see you for the next one. Have a good night, and I'll see you then. Good night, everyone. Have a good one. We'll see you later. Bye.